FYI, mm -hmm. wedding coming, going to marriage. <laughs> Welcome to All Things Wedding with the Knot, where we dive into some of your most pressing wedding planning questions. I'm Louis Barragona. And I'm Sarah Hooper. Everyone around here calls me Hoops. Around here, around these parts. Hoops. 83% <laughs> of couples use stationery or invitations throughout their wedding related events. They love paper. They, <laughs> they love paper, it's yeah. true. I mean, I love a good stationery suite. I feel like it's a really good way to personalize your day and mm -hmm. make it really cool. Mm -hmm. And save the dates are also a really fun way to kind of set the tone for your day. They're mm -hmm. kind of a pre-invitation. Exactly. Think of your save the dates as your pre-invite for all those VIPs to so let them know they're coming. When I get a save the date in the mail, oh, I just get a little thrill. It's exciting. Yeah. It announces your wedding date and lets your guests know how to clear their calendars. Mm -hmm. It's your day. Yeah, they should not make a single plan. No. They should just wake up thinking of you. All about you. Yes. Usually though, your save the dates only include your names, your wedding date, and the location. So. You don't have to worry about booking everything and all that jazz on your save the day. It's just those minimum details. Yeah. So these are the big mistakes. Number one, not sending them. <laughs> not sending them at all. It's yeah. important to send them to your guests. Give them enough time to clear their schedules and make their travel arrangements. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want their schedule clear, you mm -hmm. need to send them in the first place. Mm -hmm. Save the dates increase the chances of people actually attending. Mm -hmm. Let's well, get those guests where you want them. Totally. Yes. And what's another mistake that you would make with your paper? Sending them too late. So when do you send those? Typically, like a general rule is six to eight months before your wedding date. However, you should definitely allow for plenty of time for guests to plan to travel for save money, to ask like time off from work if they will need to travel. And if you're having a destination wedding, we recommend like ASAP, send them out. It's true, you gotta send those quickly. Yeah. But on the flip side, oh. don't send them way too early. <laughs> I mean, if you're sending your save the dates like, 24 months in advance, yeah. they might just get tossed aside and forgotten about. Yeah. So verbal notice is best for like a year in advance. Mm -hmm. When you're at that 12 month mark, you don't need to send a save the date. Just say, hey, FYI, mm -hmm. wedding coming, going to marriage, mm -hmm. so clear your calendar. Especially like for a wedding party. Totally. They need to know like ASAP. So what's another mistake you would make with those? Okay, so this one's a little tricky, but sending them to people that you're not sure about. So totally. like shooting off a save the date to test someone who you're like, I don't know if I actually am planning on inviting mm. this person. There is no turning back when you send a save the date to someone. <laughs> I mean, etiquette dictates that technically then you should invite them. It's so awkward to get a save the date and not an invite. So send that only to people you definitely want there. Sign, seal, delivered, they'll be there. Yep, yeah. it's true. Mm -hmm. And another thing that you definitely shouldn't do is overthink the design. Mm -hmm. Save the dates are a little less formal, so it's not like you need to make these like your statement piece. They don't need to be crazy. They don't even have to really match your theme. Mm -hmm. That's a good fun time to include like your engagement photo mm -hmm. or be a little more playful, experiment with colors, motifs, or different fonts maybe that don't match your, your invitation suite. Totally, go wild, but don't feel the need to be super formal. And according to our not couples, style and color and price are the most important factors when it comes to the stationary invitations for their wedding related events. So that they're makes really, sense. yeah, I feel yeah. like they're trying to make sure that it's like, it fits, the colors are cute, mm -hmm. but the price is also right. So I feel like that makes perfect sense. So our next mistake that we wanna point out is only sending electronic save the date. Okay. So we recommend physical invites. They're best for formal events. It's it's just like a nice little piece of memorabilia that you're sending totally. out to your friends and family. And get this, Lewis. 47% mm -hmm. of couples use stationery or invitations for save the date. So they're using that physical paper, mm -hmm. um, putting it in the mail. Honestly, it's nice to have that paper. I mean, it's like a fun little, it's like a memory. You could keep it. It yeah. makes like a cool thing to look back on and like a keepsake. Totally. You can send a digital and paper invite, but make sure that any digital invites don't go to spam. Mm -hmm. We all have like that one important document that goes to spam. It's the worst. So check in. Make yes. sure that people aren't like not RSVPing because it's just in the trash somewhere. Yeah, that could be the case. You're not getting any RSVPs. No, Cut totally. Yeah, they all just went in that trash folder. And just keep the paper as a keepsake. Keep it out of the spam as a keepsake. <laughs> Another thing you need to be clear on is who is actually invited. Mm -hmm. Include the names of the people who you actually want there to avoid confusion. If you're writing just like, hey, to the Hooper family. Yeah. I won't know if Hoops is invited. There are six members of the Hooper family. So oh, wow. yeah, it's very very important to specify which person you want. You gotta say you want hoops. Yeah, <laughs> well, that would be all of us. <laughs> no, just hoops, the oh. big hoops. Don't include your registry information. It's in bad taste to include those 
on your save the dates. It's mm -hmm. kind of like asking for people to buy you that ASAP. Mm -hmm. Wait to include that on your invitation insert. It's a little bit more, mm -hmm. it's better to keep it that way. You don't mm -hmm. want people to like buy immediately. Yeah, and if you are like building up your registry already, mm -hmm. that's cool. Feel free to start creating it, mm -hmm. but save the actual link or the information for the invitation. Exactly. Thanks for tuning in and learning everything there is to know about save the dates and paper goods. Tune in next time to All Things Wedding. Hi, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and return for new videos every single week. Don't forget to hit that like button. No, seriously, you should hit it now.